Hey everyone, Anthony here, along with this cut that I have underneath my eye. Today, we are going to be comparing two drones, one that costs $50, and another that costs $500. For the $500 drone, we are going to be using this drone. It's a DJI Phantom 3 Standard. The Phantom 3 Standard is the current entry-level drone in DJI's Phantom lineup. It is oriented mainly at people just getting into more advanced drones, but it is still very capable and has a host of advanced features. This is the MJX X101. It goes anywhere from $50 to $80 on Amazon. As you can see, it's very much styled after the Phantom 3. Got the red bands right here. So yeah, if you kind of hold them up side by side, you can see that the MJX is clearly kind of designed to be reminiscent of the Phantom. The MJX is a toy drone aimed at teens. So how well does it hold up to the much more expensive Phantom? Well, let's find out, starting with the cameras. Both drones come with a camera. The MJX comes with this camera, which theoretically is supposed to be Wi-Fi enabled, allowing you to have a first person view from your phone as you're flying the drone. Unfortunately, this camera is so poorly designed that it fried itself before I could ever get any video with it. So that's what $50 is going to get you in the camera department, not much. I was able to strap this GoPro to the MJX, but even then, the results weren't the best. As you can see, the footage is very shaky and all over the place and has this weird kind of jello effect. So what does $500 get you? The Phantom footage is high resolution and very, very stable. You can also fly a lot higher with the Phantom to get these kinds of shots. You couldn't fly that high with the MJX because at that point, it'd be out of range and it'd just drift away on the wind. So yeah, there's the camera. It's completely stabilized by this gimbal right here. It feels really nice, and look, if I tap it, it automatically corrects its position. It's not detachable or anything, which is not the greatest thing in the world. So like, if it broke or something, it'd be pretty hard to replace it, unlike with the MJX drone. Okay, the cameras are covered. Now, on to battery life. The MJX has a maximum of eight minutes of flight time from this little battery right here. The Phantom, on the other hand, can stay in the air for almost half an hour. It comes with this giant battery that slots into the back. There are even indicator LEDs that show how much charge you have left, or you can just check in the app, DJI Go. The MGX, on the other hand, is just gonna fall right out of the sky as soon as the battery is depleted. So far, things aren't looking too good for the MGX. There is one thing it can do, though, that the Phantom can't. It can do flips. But yeah. That's it. In terms of sheer number of features, the Phantom 3 wins by a long shot. The Phantom can hover in place thanks to satellite positioning, but the MJX cannot. The Phantom can fly itself and conduct pre-programmed missions, but the MJX cannot. The Phantom is landing entirely on its own. I just circle around right here. See, settles down, turns itself off, and just like that, it's landed. I didn't have to do anything, I just had to press the land button, and it did it entirely on its own, which is pretty cool. With the MGX, you're not gonna get that kind of automation. The Phantom is packed with all sorts of bells and whistles, making the MGX look like a sad little knockoff, which it kind of is. But despite all this, the MGX isn't a bad drone. For one thing, it's a little more durable, as I've crashed it into walls, into gardens, even into a chicken coop, and it's come out fine every time. The Phantom 3, on the other hand, one tree, the MJX is also faster to set up. Turn on the remote, turn on the lights, and bam, you're ready to go. With the Phantom, you have to calibrate the internal compass, which is a very long and involved process, and you also have to make sure that the drone has acquired enough satellite signals. In the end, both drones are really good at their own thing. The MJX is a cool toy to show off to your neighbors, and the Phantom 3 is a good value if you're just getting serious about drones. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm working to get my channel off the ground, so if you liked it, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.